Good morning. It's May 17th, this Sunday after Easter. Beautiful spring morning. I'm sitting here next to our fountain that continues to flow. And I am picturing God's love this morning. I'm thinking about how beyond understanding his love for us really is. The fact that he'd be willing to sacrifice his own son for our fellowship and to redeem us. It's really beyond comprehension. And as I'm listening to the sound of this water, I'm picturing living water flowing deep within my heart, awakening and healing hurt places in my heart that have been locked up. And I wonder if my mind prohibits God's love to flow as deep as it can because I try to figure it out. So this morning I'd like to talk a little bit about God's love, how important it is for us to know it. If we really knew the extent of God's love we wouldn't need anything from other people. I know that a lot of times I'm really needy of the approval and the love of others. Whereas I know that if I really understood the completeness of God's love, that I'm filled to the brim and overflowing with His love, I would not need anything from anybody else. I could love purely. I could love them as Christ has loved me sacrificially. And that's what I'm praying would happen because I know that if we really knew that, it would be game over. We would be able to just enjoy his love and walk around with the sole purpose of loving others as he's loved us. I know the enemy does not want us to know his love. So my plea to us, my challenge to us, is for us to allow God's love to sink deeply into our hearts, even if we don't understand it. Jeremiah says, the Lord appeared to him from afar saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Everlasting, eternal love. That kind of love cannot be changed by anything we think, anything we choose, anything we feel. It's beyond change. God loves us that much. Jesus tells us that just as the Father has loved me, I have also loved you. Stay in my love. And the way he tells us to stay in his love is by loving others as he's loved us. John tells us, see how great a love the Father has bestowed on us that we would be called children of God. That word see is a, translated behold. Experience with your, your senses what a great love the Lord has for us. I'm asking that we allow this love to go deep into our hearts, to heal broken places. God is near to the brokenhearted. He wants to bind our wounds. Paul tells us that Christ's love is beyond our knowledge, surpasses knowledge. So my prayer for us this morning is that we would be able to experience Christ's love for us in a deeper fashion because we don't try to understand it. So let me pray for us. Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful spring morning. Thank you that your love is beyond my knowledge. Thank you that you love me with a love that I can't even experience. We just had our seventh grandchild, and I love him so much. I hadn't met him, I'm gonna meet him today. And I love him so much, but you love me even more than my grandson. That is just hard for me to understand. So, Lord, I pray for each of us here that we would allow your love to go deeply into our hearts. Help us to understand it better. I know it starts in our mind, but I pray that we would not try to box in your love and figure it out, but we just let it flow, Lord. I thank you that you love us more than we can ever understand. And I pray that as we go out today that we would... Rest in your love, stay in your love, and that we would have one goal, to love others as you've loved us. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
Have a great day.